Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm trying a different uh, operation here with uh, a tripod. So it's a selfie stick, but a uh, sophisticated one. Hopefully I get a more stable shot. So we're in uh, an area called the Confucius Temple area, also called uh, Fujimao. And I'm just trying to get you a shot of, you can see some construction back there. And this is typical in the Fujimao area to have these uh, canals. And thousands of years, for thousands of years, this has been like the entertainment district. So when this was a capital city, um, this is where all the diplomats would go to um, entertain themselves on the weekends. And so we're just going to walk around. Let's see if we can get some shots. A lot of uh, construction, as I said. They have a new uh, metro line that has come through here. We call it Line 3. Uh, makes it a bit easier to uh, find this place. We'll go pan around this way. I guess that's supposed to be uh, Confucius right there, considering we're in that temple area. We've got a mix of uh, old and new buildings here. Um, it reminds me of, um, there's some areas in the States where you've got uh, old buildings and then they've uh, um, repurposed them for uh, uh, shopping. So I think of um, in Maine we have where the LL Bean uh, big store is. I think that's in Freeport, and you've got all the old New England style buildings, and you've got all the different shops in there. So that's the case here too. Um, you got. Bubbles of baby being totally impressed by bubbles. seen some of the inventive uh, transportation systems that people may carry. You just saw that scooter and the person was pulling along the uh, cart. Let's see if we can find a building that is, it's got repurposed with, uh, with other things. We have a KFC right here, over here. And if we look at it, let's see if I can get a shot. Yeah, there's KFC. Okay, and there's probably a Starbucks around here. Um, Starbucks has done a good job with uh, covering all of China. The only thing is, um, I actually, I don't like uh, the Starbucks coffee in China. It's, uh, I find it to be too creamy, uh, not a lot of uh, coffee in it. Um, the funny thing is that I find the McDonald's coffee to be better 
uh, has a much has a much stronger coffee um, uh, flavor and less creamy. And I'm talking in context of uh, of a latte. And apparently, um, I learned this from my other friends. If you have a Starbucks in the States and you don't like it, you can go back and they'll fix it and then you get your money back. But here, if, if you go with your coffee and say it's not good enough, then they'll just, um, they, won't, they won't give you money back. You, you pay more money to put more coffee into it or more espresso. Um, this is the main area. Let's see if I can get a... That is, uh, I guess in India we call it a ghat. I don't know what they call it here in, in uh, China, but this is where the ferries, you can, get, you can um, pay a fee and go on a ferry that just goes along the canals. I'll go up closer so we can see some of those, uh, those ferries. Okay, yep, there they are. At night, this is a really well lit up. Looks great. Um, if you come here on um, the autumn festival and the spring festival, that's uh, it's it's almost like the equinox, but um, it's when it it's around September, and it's when it's, there's a full moon, and this place is absolutely packed. I'm going to move over here and see, that's the, I believe that's the Confucius Temple. And that's what happens when uh, I don't speak the language and I have to do a lot of, uh, let's say, um, critical thinking skills to try to figure things out. Uh, by observation um, and then I use a lot of iPhone apps to sort of uh, break down the translation so there's an iPhone app called Wego which is designed to translate menus but I use it for everything else to get an idea of uh, how to operate a washing machine for instance or to read what a sign says um, Microsoft just came out with a new translation tool and been really happy with it because uh, Google's translation tool got blocked in uh, um, June of 2014. So in that time, I've been just uh, struggling with translations. But now uh, Microsoft came out with their new tool and it's very easy to translate. I can just talk in natural speech and it'll translate it. Or I can type it in and it'll translate it. Google is still a bit better because you can use a camera to take a picture of text and it'll translate it for you. Um, but uh, I'm happy with what they have so far. Maybe they'll add that as an improvement later on. Uh, we're in a little shopping alley. A lot of these little alleys around. You get all sorts of things. There's actually a minion to get up close. We might be able to see some minions. Let's see here. Yeah. There's a few minions up there. Uh, I'm absolutely sure it's original. Over here. Get lots of... Let's see. These are stamps. You get stamps in your name. In, in China, signature doesn't work. You have to have a stamp with your name on it. And so if you're going to sign contracts or receipts, you need those stamps. Um, in China, we call it a fapio. If you ever want to get reimbursed at school, we need to have one of these. It has to have a receipt with that stamp. If you don't have it, no money for us or no uh, reimbursement for us. That, you know, the building I was showing you with, uh, with uh, KFC was actually a quite new building. It wasn't, uh, they made a new building look like the old buildings. But these buildings are actually the original old uh, buildings that have been here probably 
thousands of years or something. But you can tell, you can see that, or that well, they're in not as good shape. Um, and the old, old wood structures on there. Okay, we'll go down to see where else. It's absolutely fun to actually just walk through the alleyways um, in, uh, in, in the city. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of old alleyways are just getting, they're demolishing the old neighborhoods and then putting new buildings. So that's being lost. But this area is, because it's a tourist area, we're not going to see a lot of that. Let's see if I can go out. Coming through a door, I'm going to have to uh, just rotate around so we can see this door. Really fascinating. Yeah, look at that graphic on there. Really nice. Oh, we've got some really, uh, in the springtime this is nice because uh, the trees just blossom. So we can go up and, yep. So this week, uh, what's happened this week? This week I uh, made uh, an announcement that, or we put on the website, our website, Twitter, through email, all sorts of things, um, that my job is available at uh, Nanjing International School. I've um, been at the school for now six years, or this is, I'm going into my sixth year. and. Originally, when I picked, uh, picked to come to uh, Nanjing, I thought I'd be here for three years. That's usually my minimum at a school, because the first year is really getting to know the school, and the second year is um, instituting some of the changes that you want to put into place, and then the third year is making sure those changes stick. But um, I think into my second year, uh, I was like really impressed with what the school was doing and the direction it was going in. And um, I signed a two -year, another two-year contract. <clears throat> so that put me into four years. And then it just, I kept on going and going because there was always really neat things happening at the school. And I wanted to stick around for that. <clears throat> but now I want to I want to move on. Uh, it's, it's a difficult move because uh, I really like the school, but I need to uh, experience other parts of the world. And the uh, thing about international teaching is I think we all sort of just go from one place to another place, and the joy of it is learning about new cultures, new areas, um, and I'm ready to see another part of the world, wherever that may be. Um, so before here was Japan, and I was there for five years, and had great fun there. Um, and I don't know, it's a, all us international teachers do this. We sort of put our jobs out without having a job to go to next. It is sort of like a bungee cord jump. Um, you don't know where you're gonna go, but you're gonna be safe because uh, everyone finds something. In our case, if I don't find something, I'll, I'll uh, take a gap year. And there's so many things you could do in a gap year. We're thinking uh, we could, there's so many hiking places that we've been wanting to go to um, that we would probably look at going on, uh, hitting, um, maybe go to Europe and hike all the way through Europe. Maybe go to New Zealand and also do hiking through there. Or maybe come back to the States and just spend time with the family. Those kind of things. So, yeah, that was just the alleyways we just went through. Um, what's interesting is when I was, I sent out the, the, the advertisement, I sent it actually to a few other lists um, that 
I sent uh, the job at Avert out to the Mac managers list. And that's a list of Mac managers around the world. And they really know their stuff. And we're a school that is full of Macs. And so having someone with that skill set would work really well with our school. I also send a job list to uh, Wizards, which is a list full of uh, um, IT directors and IT coaches that work at uh, private schools in the United States. And they also fit the profile that we're looking for. Um, of course, when I send it, I kind of forget that what we have as a school, and I make a, a lot of assumptions. So I assume that everyone knows that <clears throat> I'm working in an, in an expat school. That means that everyone speaks English and we have our little bubble. And I assume that everyone knows that as an expat hire that everyone that we work um, with salaries that are equivalent that we would get in the States and that we also have housing provided at the school and um, that the salary that is quoted to us is exactly what we get. It's no, there's a, the school pays, is, pays all the taxes, so when they quote a salary, that's what we get and that there's huge savings potential. So when I send uh, these, these ad adverts to places beyond the International School Network, um, it's, they, don't, they don't know any of that stuff. So I actually had to send up follow-up messages saying that these are the ex conditions that we've got and it's actually really good. So we've got a really good deal here in, in, with the international schools. So that always, always get, uh, it's always interesting that I forget how unique the international school experience is. So um, that's the big thing that happened this week. I have no deep thoughts of stuff. Uh, I've been just thinking about that. Um, Weather-wise today, it's, I am sweating again, but not as much as last time. It was cloudy weather. Today, I think there's some typhoon coming up. Might hit us, but I think it's hitting Taiwan, going into Japan, but We'll get the tail ends of it. Now here's another, I'm guessing this is, I'm guessing that's Confucius. I would assume that any of these old statues is Confucius. So that's all I have for now. Um, next week we'll visit some other part of Nanjing and uh, get to know it.